of the line. And I'm going to try to explain uh, basically the new ability or conception I've had, um, or new ability to conceive or understand our existence here, the way, the mechanics of it, how we created this universe, how we interact with it, what our role as souls is, and how we're actually here and not. Um, so if you think about this universe and in all dimensions specifically, okay, first of all, the easiest way to understand a dimension truly, you can think about it as a place to be, but that's not really right. That's only when you're coming from a spatial space-time perspective that that really makes sense. Not all dimensions can be perceived that way. Some can, and only from certain perspectives. So a dimension is a soul, okay, can be thought of as a vibration, a feeling, you know, an attribute of light, or even light, not even light, but light, what we call light love, you know, because everything here is an emanation from love's creation. Love is a fundamental creation before all the dimensional space creations. They're all an emanation of that. So, um, okay. So what we did is we take the basic light love energy that is source. And, and then when I say we, I mean the specific creator gods involved with the construction of this universe. But all one, one or all. Okay. I don't mean us as souls and started moving it in a direction, okay? Now, this isn't exactly accurate, but this is a way to, to understand it. Started moving it in a direction, okay? Then other creators, there, so you can think of those ones as the ones involved with the dimensions. And again, a dimension, if a soul, I never even said it, I don't think. If a soul is a, is a feeling or vibration, then a dimension is, so that would be the density, a dimension is a set of parameters on that light expression, on that light love. So when, so when that soul um, is expressing, a set of parameters will limit the infinite one. The limitations on infinity, infinity imposed in each experience in space, you could think, is the dimension. So what a dimension is. So the third dimension is just a set of parameters and rules and limitations on infinity a severe one, you know, one of the most severe ones, if not the most. So, okay, so now, so some creator gods were involved with creating the dimensions, which is the flow. Other creators came here and were involved with peopling it. So what they did is they divided themselves into each of their, you know, they we are all infinite, complete creator gods, beings. Those creator gods took individual aspects of themselves and, and emanated them as unique beings or soul fragments. And, and th those became what we call the oversouls, okay? Or there may even be another levels involved, but basically that's the mechanics of it. They became the oversouls, those then divided into more emanations and those emanations emanate other emanations and personalities and characters. The mechanics of how we actually do that, because we're not actually here, because we can never stop being what we are. So the way that the, the light love, soul energy, takes itself and makes itself into an individual fragment is, is by spinning through the toroid of shape its own light love energy, and thus creating a circle and enveloping itself within its own energy in an individual packet. So then, because but we can never stop being what we are, Again, we can look at individual aspects and emanate those, but we can all, we always are us, right? So as so then what we do is as we move into this stream, which represents the dimensions or creations, since we can't actually go into it because that would involve us dissolving into this light, then we basically it's like we're sticking our faces into it. Although we're actually just balls of light, we don't have faces, you know, but we're if you think about it like that. We're sticking our faces into this stream of light like water going by. And just like you would look underwater and see the ocean world, we're seeing this world. And, and 
And because we're quantum beings interacting light with light, we inter when we do that, we interact with the whole stream and we affect the whole flow. And we're all doing it. All the souls, we're all dipping in together, sharing this experience. But each one is having a unique experience. But most of them in the third dimensional stream have no idea that they're affecting the flow, really, that they have the ability to create their own creation within that flow, you know, that it's just that the vibration of their light, your speed of vibration and your rate and cycle of everything, the way you orient yourself is relating to that flow in a certain way that causes the, the expression you're seeing. So, so we, we've never really gone anywhere. So literally, it, it's only that we've got our head dipping and looking at, you can literally just pull back your head and you're still you, and you're still home. <laughs> oh, it, it's like the thinnest of illusions. It's unbelievable. It's really funny. Well, <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm good. Love and light.